Goddess of the KJ fam, and you walk with Kristen and Jamil. We're back, you guys, for another mukbang. Woo! But not just any mukbang. What? Yes, today we're doing a uh, Q&A for Jamil. We yes. asked you to ask Jamil questions on both our Facebook and our YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and you asked so many amazing questions. Mm -hmm. So we want to get into this Q&A. Today is all about my happy Jamil. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm kind of nervous. I was. I know. And we've done these before. We've done plenty of Q&As, but I don't know why. This time I'm just kind of nervous. I was going to ask how you feel. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why. But you know what? It'll be fine. Are you, do, do you have an idea of why you feel a little nervous today? Yeah, I think because... I think because... I don't know. Because I, I don't know. I just want to... You did such a good job. I think that's what it is. You did a good job, and I'm like, okay, I want to make sure I do better. Okay? <laughs> Way better. But I think that's a probably a big part of it. You know, you did yeah. a great job, so I'm like, okay, I got to step my step mine up. Too, my okay, game up, yeah, know? cool. That's well, all. if that's there's any cool. advice, it's just to be as honest as possible. You, and you... You're Absolutely. Be yeah. Okay, you guys, we have Chick-fil-A today. We had a craving yep. for Chick-fil-A we haven't had it in so long. Mm -hmm. uh, Jamil got... Spicy chicken deluxe sandwich. Uh, I got some fries here and also have a 12 piece, 12 count Chick fil A nuggets. Uh, Kristen got a Cobb salad with uh, Chick fil A nuggets on, on top. Looks, as well. I really was craving it. And, and a cool a wrap. wrap. Yeah. Is it a cool wrap? A cool wrap. That's cool. Yes. <laughs> so we're just going to eat a little bit and then dive into the questions. We have so yes. many questions. Absolutely. Two things, guys, I want to oh, say quickly. Yeah. Um, first thing is. Um, uh, yes, you guys, we are, we talked about the fact that we are going to be working, we're working on merch, uh, trying to get it out relatively soon, and uh, we mentioned this on our last video, is that if you guys are interested in giving your feedback and opinions on uh, merch and stuff like that, you definitely join our members area. We have a members area on Facebook and YouTube. Yep. I believe it's four ninety nine a month. I'm not sure if it translates differently in different countries, but I know in the U.S. it's four ninety nine a month mm -hmm. for each one of those. And uh, yeah, we're asking questions, trying to get feedback from people in there. So if you're interested in giving your ideas and your suggestions on what we can do for merch, feel free to join if you're interested. Mm -hmm. But if you don't want to join, don't feel bad. We will be posting here and there on our regular channel as well, mm -hmm. uh, showing you guys what we've uh, been working on. So yep, good way. Good so way that'll be good. It, man. So there's that. The other thing I was going to say is... Also, we're going to answer some as many questions as we possibly can here, mm -hmm. and then I think we're going to do more questions and post them on TikTok. So if you guys want more questions after this, go to our TikTok. It's pretty much just at Kristen and Jamil, all one word, and you'll find us there. Yes, you will. Okay, I'm eating. Good job. You're great. <laughs> Thank you. And I was going to say, um, Are you so pat the, me on the back for doing the job? You did really good. <laughs> so the member program that we have, Jamil said it's four ninety nine a month. Um, yeah. You can cancel any time. And we oh, yeah. also do lives once a month, like special lives, where we mm -hmm. go on Zoom and we like play really fun games, oftentimes like more adult games. Absolutely. So they're really fun. Mm -hmm. you, and like I said, cancel any time if you want. And then um, so you can press join on YouTube if you want to join the membership on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And then under each new video we have, I think there's a button that says become a supporter. Mm -hmm. You can click on that on Facebook. Wait, did I say Facebook? Yeah. You can yeah. click on that on Facebook, become a supporter. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cool. Mm. How's your salad? Mm. Mm. It's good? I Terrible. love a Cobb salad. <laughs> good. Mm. Oh, I forgot to get no tomatoes. That's okay, I'll fix that. <laughs> you guys, it's, it's not working for me, these <laughs> tomatoes. <the> <laughs> and it, it, it's not even that there's too much lettuce. It's just if it's dangling. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't want it. You're if, so funny. If it's not packed and they're really neat like that one, mm -hmm. I don't want it. Mmm. Mm. This was a good this choice. really good. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Mm -mm -mm. So, um, you guys, we are also going to do a video. Oh, I actually have a question for you guys. So, we went to Walmart um, because we're going to do um, sampling Little Debbie's ice cream. Mm -hmm. I know quite a few of you guys a while back actually mentioned that to us. Completely forgot about doing that video until literally a couple days ago, which we're gonna do it. We went to Walmart and there was like only three flavors. Yeah. So we gotta try to go to another Walmart and get more flavors and stuff like that. So we can do a full review of all of them. What was the question? Well, the, well by the way, there's seven of them. Uh -uh. So we, we only have three, you gotta get four more. Mm -hmm. The question is, do you guys like dessert mukbangs? Because oh. you, guys, you guys know we don't really do many dessert mukbangs because I think we've done them in the past and not a lot of people really I like them. 
So I'm just wondering, like, do you guys like, you know, do, do you like dessert? Do you like dessert? And I have to say, the, a little Debbie's uh-huh. review might be different than us just eating a, reg, a regular ice cream, right? That's a good point. So this is more of like a review mm-hmm. situation that we're going to do. But in general, do you like to watch us eat dessert? Yeah. Because I notice the majority of people that do actual mukbangs... And just like reviews, they never do desserts. Mm-hmm. It's only for the most part, you know, just you know, regular dinner foods or whatever, you mm-hmm. know, lunch foods or breakfast, you know. Mm-hmm. And even breakfast doesn't do as well. Yeah, a lot of people don't really eat breakfast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Majority of people. That makes sense. Yeah, and just to answer some questions too, because I know a lot of people ask. Cooking videos. Definitely cooking videos coming. Oh, yeah. We're not doing a lot. Mm-hmm. Of we'll, course, but... We'll do more. We do have some coming. We have a video coming where one of us oh. is going to be... We, so, we have a video coming out. <laughs> one of us made a bet. We're not going to tell you what it is, but one of us made a bet. And whoever lost has to cook the other a three-course meal. Yes. So, one of us lost. <laughs> and the other one... One of us has to make a three-course meal. Exactly. But we don't want to say who. If you want to guess below who lost, feel free. Mm-hmm. Comment below. Okay. All right. Are you ready? We're going to keep I think so. Okay. Are you good? Mm-hmm. Oh. About this drink from Walmart. Mm-hmm. Fanta. Dragon mango fruit. Ooh. Dragon fruit, not dragon mango fruit. Oh. Why am I making stuff up? I- <laughs> Dragon mango fruit with a splash of lime. You've, uh, <laughs> you've always made things up. Well, you know what it is? Is I thought it was mango fruit from um, Starbucks. Uh-huh. So that's why I said mango in there. Okay. But, yeah, you're used to that. Anyways. Uh-huh. Here we go. Mm. Ooh, this is good. You want to try it? Mm-mm. Maybe that's it's really good. Okay, cool. I am ready. Ready for your questions. All right. Hopefully not hard questions. Megan P from YouTube. No, no questions about French because I failed French. <laughs> <laughs> Megan P from YouTube, shout out to you. Thank you for this question. Mm-hmm. When you first met, met Kristen, was it love at first sight? What is the one thing you love about your wife? Hmm. What Great is question. question. Mm-hmm. Great question. So, crazy as it sounds, I hope it doesn't sound crazy, but true. <laughs> Um, I don't believe it love at first sight, but I was definitely highly attracted at first sight, for sure. You know, <laughs> highly attracted, definitely wanted to get to know her. So for sure, you know, I, I was 100% excited about you. You know what I mean? Aww. So, you know, as close as love could get. <laughs> you know what I mean? For the first time, you know? <laughs> so, um, yeah, definitely. I definitely, right away, I, I, I definitely wanted to get to know her and stuff like that. And... As far as like one thing yeah. that I like about Christian? Love. Oh, love. <laughs> That's different. Love. I'd say patience. I, a lot of patience, you know? Well, hold on. Let me clarify this. Do I? Patience with me. Oh. Not patience in general. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd say there is no patience in general. I'd say patience with me, oh, you know? Sweet. Um, You know, a lot, of, a lot of, I know you guys see us on camera you know, with a lot of things and Kristen's patient, you know, sometimes, but I'd say off camera, you really see a lot more of like, you know, patience. And then there's, 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 there's a lot of different things. Sorry. Let me clarify that. I can't even say, but let me just say this. The patience is a big thing for me. For example, a lot of times when I'm getting ready, we're trying to go somewhere. You're like ready to go. I'm like, okay, give me like five more minutes. And you're like, okay, cool. Take your time. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. So so that's something I really love about her. And there's other things as well, too. But I think that's like what's on my mind recently. I've been thinking about how patient you've been with me. So, Thank you. Yeah. No, for sure. Great question, Megan. Great question, Megan. Great question. What are three things on your bucket list? Mm. Good one. Um... It's not really good questions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I really want to travel to Maldives. That's probably on my bucket list. I mean, it's funny. You said that last time, too, as far as what you, you know, where you want to travel. Maldives, I got to go there one day. That is 100% on my bucket list. Um, 
Uh, what else is on my bucket list? Probably, you know, as crazy as it sounds, and this is going to sound really crazy, guys. I just mentioned this to Chris a couple days ago. But I would really, I want to write a book. Mm. Like uh, a, um, I'm, I, I like science fiction. I definitely like a lot of different um, different stuff like that. So I, I, <laughs> I want to write a book. I want to write like a science fiction book one day. Cool. I know that sounds really weird. Because that has like it's so random to my personality, but but I've always thought about that, and I, I I'm not you know close to doing that at all now, but one day I kind of want to do something like that. So definitely write a book, right. you know, science fiction in mm-hmm. particular, or fantasy. I like fantasy stuff too, you know, mm-hmm. or horror. I like horror. So one of those, uh, one of something those, something fun, something fun, exactly. Mm-hmm. And then thirdly, I would say it's probably making a million dollars one day. I mean, that would be kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know if I'll ever do that, mm-hmm. but. If I could do that, that'd be a nice thing to put on my bucket list. That'd be a nice feather in the cap. We're going to do that. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. That'd be cool one day. Yeah. So. Because financial security is important. Exactly. That's yeah. right. So, those are my three questions. Three uh, bucket list things. I like that. Pretty good. TCG fam from YouTube. Hey. Hey. What's up, <laughs> Tiffany? Shout out to you. Asked. Yeah. We know we've been asked this a million times. Oh, okay. But. <laughs> She uh, has a baby question. When are you guys going to have the baby? Okay. But it's more deep. It says, I know you guys think you're not ready at this moment, but mm-hmm. we're not getting any younger. Mm-hmm. What if we miss our opportunity? Will that be okay? Or would you be devastated? Great question. We have had this talk actually multiple times before. Mm-hmm. I think even kind of recently we had a talk. Mm, we did. And, you know, I think that is one of the things that I've realized, like at getting older, is the question of... You know, I'm missing out. You know, are we going to miss out one day by doing that? Mm-hmm. And the truth is, you know, I don't know the future. I don't know how I'll feel in the future. Mm-hmm. Um, I could say right now that, oh, I think I'd be okay. But I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know in the future. So that's why at the end of the day, we're taking it one, one, day, one day at a time because we do really want to maybe just, I don't know. See what what I feel like in the next year, because <laughs> you know, because you never know. A year, things can change. Mm-hmm. So to answer the question directly, mm-hmm. I I don't feel like I, we'd be missing out if we decided not to, because I feel like it was our choice and stuff like that, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but you just never know. I never know how I'd feel in the future. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, that's like the biggest fear. Never that mind. is the biggest fear. Well, that's that of course the biggest, the biggest fear. fear so. Of, you we know. have to make sure we make the right decision. Exactly. That's right. And when we do, it'll be right for us. And right now, it's a mm-hmm. as a no. But yeah, that was a good answer, baby. Thank you. Okay. Good question. Yeah, thanks, Tiffany. Mm-hmm. Michaela Spotted Elk on YouTube. Shout What's out to up, you. Michaela? Says, what do you love about doing YouTube? Ooh, okay. Well, um, definitely, I would say the creative side you get out, right? Like, obviously, we're just eating for the most part, kind of just enjoying food. Shooting the breeze. Sorry, I just realized. Oh, I'm not going to touch the light. Oh, I thought there was a bug in here. No, man. Anyways, doesn't matter. Sorry, back to the question. (laughs) Uh, What was the question? What do you love about Oh, YouTube. The creative side, you get a chance to get that out because we're recording. I am a creative person. I do like to edit and do, you know, little small things, you know, behind the scenes when we can creatively. So creativity wise, that's really big. But also, you know, I, I really believe that like things like social these things, social media these days, they can fill in as a regular job, you know? So it's great financially to be able to do something like YouTube because although and we Facebook. are and Facebook and all these things. Because although we are working hard and we're trying to grow our channel and stuff like that, it's it's like working on a regular job. I just feel like it's more in line of what I would want to do rather than working a job for, you know, doing something else that maybe I don't want to do, you know, if that mm-hmm. makes sense. Mm-hmm. So it just, I think ultimately this, this YouTube and Facebook and, you know, being a content creator, it just lines up along with kind of the life that I want. Life yeah, I, want. I like that. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. I appreciate it. Next. I'd ask you what you think, but you know what? This isn't your question. This isn't. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't about me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ashley B from YouTube says. What up, Ashley? What up, Ashley? So, mm-hmm. do you consider yourself confident? If okay. so, how confident are you? Good question. Um, I feel, I feel my life. Sorry, guys. Not my life, but <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I do feel confident in ways, right? 
I don't think anyone feels confident in 100% in everything that they do. But I, I feel confident within myself for the most part enough to, you know, be comfortable in my life, you know? I mean, there's all there's a lot of things in my life that I'm not comfortable in, you know? Um, but yeah, to answer that, I guess, kind of directly, short answer is, I'd say I'm relatively a confident person for the most part. For the most part. I'm going to ask you do, you, do you agree or disagree? Please, if you tell me what you sure, think. Sure, I definitely think you're confident. I think yeah. there's always things that you try to work on in your life, and you know mm-hmm. that you haven't perfected things. You're always like a work in progress. No. But confident for sure. And if we're talking like physical confidence, yeah. absolutely. I mean, I always felt like you've, mm-hmm. you know, never put yourself down or whatever. And for physically. sure. And then if we're talking emotional confidence, kind of same thing. You've always been just like going for things and yeah. you know, trying to strive to do better. But there's a lot of things that, you know, in my life, just random stuff that I'm not, you know, fully confident in. And that, and, and like Kristen said, I do, I work on myself a lot to try to get better at things and become more confident because I think it's important to be confident. Not cocky though. Not cocky. That's not important. I might joke a lot and say a lot of crazy stuff, which by the way, guys, a lot of the stuff that I said here are jokes, you know, just to, you know, be entertaining and fun. And mm-hmm. I feel like I could say it because, you know, Chris and I've been in a relationship so long I can joke like that, mm-hmm. but not cocky, but confident for sure. Cool. Yeah. Wonderful. So Tracy? Tracy Wright on YouTube asks, mm-hmm. does Kristen still rock your world? <laughs> <laughs> Did she ask that last time or was it someone, someone else, else that I think asked that. Asked that. Yeah, Good I question. Think, yeah. Good question. One hundred percent. And I feel I feel exactly the same way. Mm-hmm. More than before. Mm-hmm. More than before. There's no doubt about that. I feel like, you know, um, I'm a type of person. That I am big on, you know, just like most guys, like or most people in general, physical, right? Mm-hmm. Physical attraction and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I, I think one of the things is I really do, I'm heavy with emotional stuff, right? Mm-hmm. If someone, I can connect with the person emotionally and stuff. Mm-hmm. So the attraction's always been there physically from the beginning, right? Mm-hmm. But I think just as I get to know you more, there's always more of an emotional connection we have. So, I th- and that's big for me. That's big for me. So mm-hmm. definitely. In every level, yes. Definitely Kristen still rocks my world and more. 100%. Thank you, thank you. Did I get all those notes right that you <laughs> gave me? <Did> I... <laughs> Let me look at the paper one more time. Guys, so... <laughs> yeah, I got everything. I got everything. <laughs> You're I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm teasing. All right, next one. I was huh? just saying, yeah, you guys are asking good freaking questions. Like, mm-hmm. So we're going to try to get through these. Christine Garcia on YouTube says, Hey, Jamil, I was wondering, do you get jealous when it comes to other men showing any kind of interest in Christian, whether it's a small convo or a nice compliment about her or just plain just checking her out, checking out the goods, per se? Mm-hmm. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've gotten in like 10 fights, guys, that are fist fights, that guys are going to Kristen and I don't ask any questions. I just start punching. No, I'm joking. Um, you know, I think it's it's it's... You know, there's it's natural natural that if somebody comes up to you mm-hmm. and like talks to you, I mean that's it's not like that's happening all the time. We're walking together, no one's like coming up to you. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if someone's staring or something like that, you know, it's natural to feel like like not jealousy, but a little bit of like maybe a little bit of something, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I I'm gonna say 99%. I I don't let any of that worry me at all. There's no jealousy. There's no really concerns there at all. Um, I'm, de- I'm pretty good at just being like an understanding that it's like well if I'm attracted to you other people are going to be attracted to you too and I can't you know mm-hmm. be mad about that I remember I'm you know going to clubs we haven't been out in a while but mm-hmm. I would leave sometimes and some guys would start walking up to you trying to talk to you mm-hmm. and try to dance with you and mm-hmm. stuff like that and as I'm coming back they're like talking to her mm-hmm. and I'm not mad at that I'm like it is what it is you know I wasn't there so you didn't know mm-hmm. and um, so I, I, 99% it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. But there's always that little bit, right? Yeah. There's that little bit of like, hmm. Yeah. You feel a little something. A little something, yeah. you know? But for sure. yeah, but for the most part, I'm good. You're not a jealous guy. Though. No, no. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. And I appreciate you know. that a lot. Yeah. No, of course. Yeah. Thank you. Good question. And I, that goes vice versa in case you guys are wondering. Yeah. I've never fought anybody over him. And <laughs> girls have definitely given him the 
the smile, the look, and same thing. I think they've talked to you too when I'm away, so. Absolutely. You know, it is what it is. And I feel the same way. It's like mm-hmm. if I'm attracted to him, other people are going to also. It's all about the boundaries that him, that uh, Jamila and I have to, it's true. that we put up. If we didn't put up boundaries with people and we were flirting back, that's like it's a looking back, that's the issue. That's what's But I'm okay for people to look, you know. You're hot. Do you want some of these um, chicken? What are these chicken nuggets? Chick Fil A nuggets. Yeah, Chick Fil A nuggets. Really? <laughs> um, no, I am good because I am full. Thank okay. you. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. All right. Roy Baptiste. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. Shout mm-hmm. out to you. What's up, Roy? Said Jamil, did your in laws accept you immediately, or was it a work in progress? Ooh, okay. It's a great question. Yeah, um, I'm yeah. I was. I'm pretty sure it was a media. I think the first time for your mom specifically mm-hmm. was at prom, our first prom. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was the first time I met Kristen's mom, and yeah, she accepted me. I mean, you know, obviously, maybe you have to ask Kristen specifically that, but yeah, I was accepted right away. Mm-hmm. I mean, your mom was super friendly to mm-hmm. me, very nice and mm-hmm. welcoming. Um, I think. I didn't meet Kristen's dad until a little later on that year, maybe the year after, something like that. Mm-hmm. But he was accepting. He was accepting as well. I think, you know, for the most part, I think for the most part, it's one of those things where when you're in a new relationship, I think parents are always skeptical, like, okay, is this going to be the person yep. that my you know child is going to be mm-hmm. with, you know? So mm-hmm. there's always the thought of that. But welcoming wise, one hundred percent, like right away, you know, I felt extremely welcomed by your parents That's and stuff good. like that. Yeah, for sure. And especially just like over the years, more and more, you know, mm-hmm. which has been, I feel like, a blessing because we haven't really had any problems with your parents. It's been really great. <laughs> which is really they love nice. You very, very much. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's been if, great. I, if I can just pick you back well, a little bit. Well, that's why, because I want you to That's say a great because, answer. It's true. Because my experience was extremely welcoming. So We haven't had issues. Yeah. I, I We were worried, I think, uh-huh. or I was worried, I should say, mm-hmm. that my dad might feel a certain way um, oh. just because he might, he wasn't. He didn't grow up with a ton of diversity, mm. so I was worried about that, and so oh. I think that's why it took longer to let him know. Mm-hmm. Um, but once he did know, and once he met you, I, I, well, you've never felt, you know, which is awesome. Like, yeah. He fully, you think he really liked you, obviously, yeah. mm-hmm. and fell in love with your personality, and he knew you were a good guy, so that was really nice. That's know? cool. So, yeah, no, yeah. but the welcoming aspect of it specifically, like, you know, like you said, because you knew the insights because you live there, obviously. Mm-hmm. But for me coming by, it was I was extremely welcomed, which was cool. That's you know? good. Yay. Yeah. 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 Nice. Great question. Great question. Let's keep going. Okay. Nala1307. Shout what out up? to you. Ass on YouTube. What's the most memorable memory you have about Kristen the first time you met her? Mm. Memorable memory. Um, ooh, that's a good one. I would say there's probably two. Mm-hmm. And I think I've mentioned this before. One is in class, you know, when we first met, Kristen sat in front of me and I told the story before. In fact, I'm not going to tell it all to right now because we're actually going to do a video talking about when we first met and stuff. Okay. But uh-huh. she constantly like made this noise, Sorry. which was which was very <laughs> odd. You guys, <laughs> yeah, you guys stay tuned. We'll be talking about that later for sure. But she was definitely making a weird noise in front of me, which was odd. <laughs> Talk about why she did that. But that's one memory. But I do have to say, I think the memory that I remember for whatever reason the most, and I think it's because we laugh about it every time, uh-huh. is we um, had gotten uh, a room together, I think, uh, you know, after during prom or after, I think it was later on after prom and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I remember it was late It was late at night. We were in the room. The lights were off. and But you could still kind of see in the dark. And Kristen walked right into going to the bathroom walked right into the door <laughs> face first just like right into the door and we laugh every time because that was hilarious it was hilarious because i could see it clearly because where i was standing like you could see like enough light to kind of see what was going on and i clearly saw she was going right into the door walk face first into the door so that was probably one of the funniest Oh early gosh. memories that keep coming back in my head all the time that I laugh at. That was so funny. Okay, so that those are, you have, so you have like funny memories. Yeah, yeah, definitely funny memories. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, 
a good one. Okay. Yeah. Stay tuned for the story, the relationship story, because we'll tell you guys how we got together and in detail and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Okay. Melanie Page from Facebook asks. What up, Melanie? What up, Melanie? What's your current favorite TV show and favorite movie? Ooh. I like this one. Um, favorite TV show at the moment. It's it's the last one that I watched, which <laughs> I'm gonna say it, and nobody nobody's gonna know the show. Nobody cares. You know what it is? No. The Kingdom. Oh gosh. Not the last Kingdom. Not the one that's on right now with um, the guys. I think it's like middle or you know medieval time and stuff like that. This one is the kingdom. It's about zombies. <laughs> it's a overdub. I think it's a. I'm pretty sure it's a Japanese uh, show. Um, and they overdub everything, but it's really good. Mm-hmm. It's really good. They did two seasons, and then they've stopped it. I don't know if they're going to come back with a third one or not. But right now, I'm loving that show. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Uh, and as far as movies go, right now, any movies that I'm loving? Um, we just rewatched. Infinity Wars from the Marvel Universe. I love that movie. You do. That's one of my favorite movies, too. It's a great movie. And I'm not even like a huge Marvel fan. Yeah, Kristen isn't a fan at all, really. But it was really good. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to say that's probably one of my favorite movies right now. Yeah. I'm loving that movie. Yeah. And we also watched another movie recently. Oh, you're talking about Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah. Yeah, that's great, too. But Infinity Wars just hits different. It does hit different. I I do love uh, Wolf of Wall Street, though, too. Yeah. That was a good movie. Uh-huh. And if you guys have seen Wolf of Wall Street, check out the actual guy, Jordan Belford. Leonardo DiCaprio played the part perfectly. He did. That guy, it's 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 incredible how good of an actor uh, Leonardo is, you know? Yep. Jerry asked. Shout out to Jerry. Jerry. Jerry, this is a great question. Cool. How do you deal with the negativity that comes from some of the comments people leave? I love that question. It's great. I know. Yeah. I'm gonna try Jerry to keep goes this short. deep. I know. I'm going to try and keep this short because I could talk about this one all night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Honestly, you guys, I have a, I mean, not to, I don't know. I don't want to brag or anything, but. <laughs> you can brag. And naturally for me, when people are rude, it's natural for me to go to understanding. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, I get more compassionate about where that person's coming from. And the reason I do that. How do I explain this? Pretty much what it is when somebody says something negative, I go to being like, well, why are they saying that? What what's what's coming? You know, what, what's what's the point behind that, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So you know, so when I do write an answer, which a lot of times I do write answers to people that are really negative, um, I try to you know not be negative back. I try to be more understanding with how they're you know how they're feeling and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I think, so, uh, sorry to, uh, no, no, go ahead, please, uh, please okay. help me out. Every time I read, like, <laughs> not every time, but a lot of times that I read a really, like, rude yeah. comment, Jamil laughs. Oh, yeah. Like, hell laughs. laughs. <laughs> it's funny, and I don't necessarily think it's as funny, and, but Jamil just cracks up. So, yeah, well, I do think you funny. find it funny. Too. I do find it funny. I do laugh probably at first, but I, <laughs> and then I, you I yeah, I, I, I find it funny because, you know, I don't know, there's good, they're actually good comments, some of them <laughs> are funny comments, you know? They are funny, yeah. I was laughing for like 10 minutes on one <laughs> that Chris and I read earlier today. But I do, like, once I get that out, like, literally, like, my thought after that is, how can I get on this person's level? And how can I understand this person from a different perspective and try to leave a positive message to them uh, with hopes that they'll, you know, maybe, you know, be positive back, you know? Because when people leave, unless someone's just leaving, like, a straight-up negative, like, you're stupid, you're an idiot, da, da, da. you can't rebuttal that, right? But if somebody writes like a long paragraph and they're saying like really negative kind of mean stuff, I'm listening to them like, okay, this person's not, they don't hate me, they don't hate us. Mm-hmm. They're maybe having a bad day. They're maybe, we did something they didn't like. So then I try to at least have compassion towards that and try mm-hmm. to write something nice back, you know? Yeah. You did very good. Thank and you. And I do the writing back. Um, yeah, yeah. But I, I asked Jamil a lot about how to respond to the negative ones. Because yeah. oftentimes I'm not, at, I don't 100% know what to say as well. I've learned more over yeah, the exactly. years we've done it. But Jamil's yeah. really good at like wording things. Oh, so I appreciate you. that. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah well, you're true. great too at wording stuff too. <clears throat> thank you. I think the problem is, <laughs> really quick, I'll write and like respond to someone. Yeah. 
no joke, you guys. I'll I'll write like a two paragraph thing. It'll take me like an hour. Uh-huh. Yeah. Maybe an hour and a half. Yeah, it takes a while. Just to make sure I'm getting the so right words out. So that's why I respond. So then Kristen helps me. Yeah. <laughs> I have to type. I have to do it. Yeah. But I like taking that long. Yeah. I enjoy it. You yeah. know, because I want to make sure I'm writing something that speaks to exactly yeah. what I'm thinking that actually is a And what a, they're a saying underneath. Thing. And like, what they're you saying underneath. Job. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. I think my camera's off. I just realized this. <laughs> what does off mean? It's pointing. It doesn't matter. It's okay. pointing this way a little bit more. Though. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. Just observing. Okay. I know. <laughs> uh, Eileen Hoey Spezio. Shout out to you on What's Facebook. Up? How did you propose to Kristen? Mm. And Shannon Garcia wants to know the same thing. Mm. Shout out to you, too. Good question. How did you propose? Yeah. Well, you know what? I think the proposal was... I had bigger ideas for the proposal. Not going to lie. <laughs> it didn't work out. Like I wanted it to. However, I did the next best thing. Um, we did actually have dinner, I think, before I proposed. Mm-hmm. Um, and, I pro- and I proposed in the spot that we first dated. Mm-hmm. I think it was our first date, mm-hmm. uh, which was... Actually, we recorded a video at it. It's a place called Strawberry Spit. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like this really nice lookout area mm-hmm. um, you know, where we grew up and stuff like that. I think our Embassy Suites vlog, if you want to check that yeah. out, I'm pretty sure we, we show did. what Strawberry Spit looks like. Exactly. Yeah. So It's a weird name, but it's really yeah. <laughs> It is a weird name. Yeah. I didn't think about it. Yeah. But it's really beautiful over there. So, you know, so I wanted to propose there. So we had the ring and... Uh, it was after dinner and everything, and I know you weren't expecting it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, it was nice. so it was great. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. It was sweet to, I thought it was mm-hmm. super thoughtful to do it at yeah. a place that meant a lot to exactly. us. Exactly. And it still means a lot to us. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I think that place for sure, it's interesting because, yeah, that place really does mean a lot to us. It you does, know? yeah. Because we went there all the time, yeah. and it was literally the first place that we dated, you know? Yeah. We, so, yeah. We or have... for our first date. It was like yeah, the very first time. And we go a lot after school, hang on the grass, you know, kiss, exactly. make out, but just like also just like get to know each other and mm-hmm. you know go for mm-hmm. walks along the path. So like it was yeah, yeah. it's definitely nice. So. It was. Yeah, cool. Yeah, thank you. Good question. Now before we get into other questions, yes, I hear you got chocolate chip cookies over there. Yes, I did. I got them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, the chocolate chip cookies from Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A are so good. You gotta get them. You have to try them once. They're, They're so good. They're so good. I'll take one, yeah. one too. Okay. Okay. Angelina, ask it. Shout out to you, Angelina. What's up, Angelina? She says, "Why don't we ever hear you call her babe?" <laughs> Great question. Great question. <laughs> um, you know. I definitely am just not the type of person to like nickname people really and give like the, the, you know, the cute baby names. Uh I've never, I'm just not that type of person, but you know, even with nicknames, right? My friends, I always call my friends by their actual names, although they had nicknames and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's never my, my personality, but I think in our relationship, it's, it's just, I don't know. It's hard for me to like form the words. It's always been hard for me to like be like babe or something mm-hmm. it's it sounds it sounds corny to me mm-hmm. you know what i mean <laughs> it's not but it sounds like that to me so it's been hard mm-hmm. and now that we've been together for so long i really can't do it now it's over <laughs> it's over now it's over mm-hmm. i had about a year <laughs> to get it straight didn't get it straight so now it's just over yeah and i've asked her multiple times right throughout the, when we've been together why don't you call me a nickname i want you know no no but he just can't, it doesn't feel natural to him, and I don't want him to have to force to call me something if mm-hmm. it doesn't come natural. So Yeah. yeah. That's really what it is. It's just, it doesn't come natural. Mm-hmm. It definitely doesn't come natural. Great question, though. Mm-hmm. Larissa Medonic, shout out to you. What's up, Larissa? And Tammy Escobar, shout out to you, because they mm. have, want to know the same thing. Okay. So, would you rather, question. I like these. Would you rather eat the halal of flame bowl you ate the other day mm-hmm. every single day of your life <laughs> or would you rather only have sex one time a year? That's a good one. Man. <laughs> That's a good one. It's a hard one. That is hard. Um... I'm gonna say, give me that halal ball, mm-hmm. bowl, the halal ball. 
You better. I think so. I think I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> I honestly, I think I'd rather do that. It would suck. It would. Mm -hmm. It would, but not being able to be intimate for a whole year, only once, I couldn't do that at all. <laughs> I couldn't have it at all. So I got to do the bowls. Mm -hmm. I got to do a bowl, halal bowl, which would suck. Yeah. But I prefer that. Yeah. Yeah. And Jamil's not even, well, I don't know. Oh, good. I don't know if I should add it. Jamil's yeah. not like the type of guy that like oh. needs to do it every single day no. either. You know, you're not even like, you're no. a guy, of course. You know what I mean? You have yeah. like certain thing, urges, but it's not like you're, mm -hmm. but I think once a year is pretty. No. That's pretty, that's pretty slim. It's terrible. <laughs> it's, it's a horrible, horrible life. Once a year is asking no, a lot. Okay. No, it's That'd asking a lot. Yeah. That'd be tough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me the flaming hot halal bowl. Okay. You might have some stomach issues, but exactly. <laughs> let's be getting some. Exactly. <laughs> okay, great That's question. Cool. At least I can make it to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Heather Rowan, shout out to you, Heather. What's up, Heather? She asked from Facebook, "What oh. is what's with the red bracelet that you wear a lot?" Oh and yeah. What does it mean to you? I actually, don't have it on right now. Um, so the red bra I love this red bra bracelet. It actually, um. Wait, who, Heather, who asked the question? Heather Rowan. Heather Rowan? Yeah. Oh, okay. A different Heather. Yeah, okay, because uh, um, it's Heather, oh, I can't remember her last name now, sent it to me, mm -hmm. actually. So um, early on when we started our channel, we mm -hmm. actually had a, um, someone who followed us. I don't know if she still, I think she still does. We talked to her from Absolutely, time Absolutely, yeah. Uh -huh. um, I can't remember her last name off the top. But anyways, she sent it to me, and I absolutely love that bracelet. Mm -hmm. A lot. I, I just wear, I love wearing bracelets, essentially. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think I like the beads and stuff like that, how it looked, and I like the red. So it was really great. Mm -hmm. To be honest, there's the other bracelet, too, Jerry sh uh, sent to me, too, that I was wearing for a little bit. The problem is my wrist has gotten a little bit too big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I can't quite put on Jerry's as much. It's a little tight. Exactly. But, um... But uh, but anyways, but as far as the other one goes, the significance is I just I just really like it a lot. I like the red. I like uh, I don't know. I just I like how it looks. That a fan member gave it to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She gave it to us early on. So both Heather's. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, Penny Napier or Napier. Hey Penny, what's up? Hey Penny. How are she you? She says, "Okay, Jamil. Okay. What does Kristen do that turns you on the most? <laughs> and you need to be honest. Okay. Um, the most? I'll turns you on the I'll most? I'll fact check him. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I want to get too deep. Okay. You don't have to get too deep. <laughs> These things. No, you don't have to get too deep. But I would say... I, that's so hard. That's so hard to answer that. That is a hard question. Without being too graphic. Don't crazy. be too graphic. Yeah, you can't be just crazy. Be, yeah, be umbrella. Just, I would say, <laughs> um, the intimacy vibe, the intimacy stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, being very intimate in a certain way. Mm -hmm. That's hard. It is hard. I can't really answer that in a way that's <laughs> like, I mean, I... Yeah, I mean, uh, well, obviously your body. That's essentially what it is, right? Obviously, your body turns me on. I like the way, I like the way you look. <laughs> that helps, you know? <laughs> but I can't really go too much in detail on this. There's like a vibe. There's yeah, an there's energy. a vibe. There's an, exactly. Mm -hmm. that, that's it. There's an energy about. that that mm -hmm. happens. <laughs> that, that turns me on for sure. I think I can sum it up with uh, what Ludacris says. What does he say? A lady in the streets but a freak in the, <laughs> yeah. freak in the bed. Or whatever it is. That's close enough. Yeah, okay. That's all I got to say. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's, that's close a, enough. It's a, yes. And you know what? Yeah. I know we were going to talk about this, so you don't have to leave this in the video if you don't want to. Okay. But if we do start an OnlyFans, maybe we will answer questions <laughs> no. like that in more detail. <laughs> See? <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. This is a good reason why choked. we should start it. I just choked on the answer that question after you say that. <laughs> no, I wanted to say, you know what? We were talking about this. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Kate Dawson, by the way, and mm -hmm. a couple other people, too, that mentioned this. Mm -hmm. um, like, when we were talking about like the OnlyFans thing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, 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 no. But you know what? If we if we ever did start OnlyFans, guys, which 
It wouldn't be much, <laughs> but we would talk about adult topics on there. Yeah. I would never want to do an OnlyFans, OnlyFans, but right. it'd be fun to like actually have discussions like this and yeah. other things like, like that. Like going so. to graphic detail. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we could. Crazy detail. Yeah. We could. You know, without but that'd being, be about it. Without being physical. Without being physical. Yeah, exactly. there you go. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. Daisy Garcia from Facebook. What up, Daisy? Asks, what is your biggest fear? Mmm. Oh. You're so cute. I'm trying to think of like. You're so cute. Thank you. <laughs> Probably not, not actually, not actually dying, but how I die. Uh, right? Yeah, like, that's rough. Like that's probably sums it up. I mean, you know, there's a lot of ways I'm like, I don't want to go that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> a lot of really bad ways. Yeah. Uh, so probably not actually dying. Like I feel like my mind as far as like, okay, if I were to pass away and stuff like that, that'd be fine. I feel like I'd be okay. But it's the actual thought of how it would happen, you know? Sure. I don't know. I think that's that's probably yeah. my that's probably my biggest fear for sure. Yeah. Yeah. As, aside from that, like, you know, maybe me waking up and there's like a monster right next to me <laughs> trying to fight me. <laughs> 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 something like that or you know, something something trippy like that or I wake up and you know, I don't know, there's an alien there and they're trying to abduct me or take me somewhere or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, that would be scary. Yeah, that'd be about that'd it. Be scary. <laughs> Okay. Uh, should we just do one more? Yeah, we can do one more. Okay, guys, we're going to do one last one, and then we're going to actually record some more um, questions for, I think, both Chris and I will answer them, and we're going to put it on TikTok. Okay. So once again, after this, if you do want to see more questions and answers from us, check out our TikTok. It's, of course, go to TikTok uh, on your phone or wherever, and it's at Kristen and Jamil. All yeah. one word. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay, one more question. I'm ready. I'm out of food. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm out. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Tiffany Pinkney asks. What's up, Tiffany? What's up, Tiffany? Uh -huh. I notice you never talk about your family. Mm -hmm. Are you close with them? Do you have brothers and sisters? Oh, okay. Okay. Good question. Um, you know, I think I talked about them a lot more in the beginning mm -hmm. when we first did our videos. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> You're right. I haven't talked about them quite as much. Um, yes, I am, I am close to my brothers. Not like, I don't talk to them every day. In fact, one of my brothers, I gotta call him. Cause... Jamil's really bad at calling back. I'm bad at that. That's the, my hardest thing is calling people back and getting in touch because I get caught up on doing things, like whether, whatever work I'm doing, and I, and I can't get out of that zone, so I don't always get back to people fast enough. Anyways, so, uh, I do have two brothers that I, that, uh, one lives in... Uh, DC, the other one now lives in Florida. He used to live, <clears throat> the other one used to live in Alaska for a long time, but lives in Florida now. Uh, my mom, I am close to my mom as well. She lives in uh, Africa, actually, in the Gambia, uh, which is cr kind of crazy. You know, all my life she's always been talking about going to Africa, and then she actually did it. <laughs> yeah. She loves it. <laughs> exactly. When she retired, she actually went there and loves it. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. But I talk to her often. You know, when I when I can, I not the best. Um, I got a couple cousins that check out this show. Shout out to you so guys. So shout out to you guys for sure for watching, mm -hmm. if you guys are still watching this one. Uh, so I'm close to them too, very close to them. Uh, and then, yeah, you know, you know, my father passed away um, back in, I believe it was 2016, mm -hmm. uh, quite a few years ago. And I was, I was very close to my dad. Mm -hmm. that, that, yeah, I was very, very close to my dad. But, um, but yeah, I haven't spoken about my family uh, probably too much, but I do have a family. Yes, and Jamil's <laughs> brother, the uh, the one who lives in Florida, he's yeah. been on our channel. Oh yes, yes. he's our during the live. Yeah, so if you've That's been right. around a while, he's been on our channel. But I do think we, I, my, I don't want to talk for you, no, but no. I do think it's easier to talk about family when you're like hanging out with them a lot more and like sure. having plans. Like you sure. know, we've done mm -hmm. a lot with like my mom and sister and my nephew because they, exactly. they live closer, right? That's your family's so spread out, it's hard to. That's very see true. them physically, so I think yeah. that's kind of why you know exactly. And then I think I think just it. naturally I don't really talk about my family much. Mm -hmm. Naturally, I don't. Mm -hmm. Just I don't know. I've never really. I mean, I I did or we did early on, but mm -hmm. but yeah, it's a, it's actually a good point. I don't it talk is. about family as much, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, and like you said, maybe it is because we see your parents and your family so often mm -hmm. because they live close by. Well, at mm -hmm. least they did it during the time, you know. Right. 
Mm-hmm. So yeah. So yeah, good question. Yeah, that's a really good question. Mm-hmm. So yes, okay, go to TikTok. We're going to be answering a lot more questions. We had over yes. 300 questions, you guys. That's crazy. Thank you so much for asking all your wonderful questions. They're really yes. good. Some of them are repeats. So yeah, you know, for if you asked a question that we already asked, thank you so much. <gasps> Excuse me. Thank you so much. That was a great question. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So come over to TikTok and we're going to answer more. Absolutely. So I hope you guys enjoyed the question and answers. I hope they weren't boring. No, I thought you it was really mean? good. I should have been a little more energetic, I guess. Hey, I don't know. let me know if you liked his answers. Yes. Thank you. Tell me that I did better than Kristen. I'll feel better. <laughs> no, no, don't no. say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. Um, yeah. You did great, baby. And thank I thought you. you'd be very honest. And I appreciate that it. That was really good. Yeah. Well, hopefully I answered everything. Yeah, and it made sense, too. That's another thing that yeah. I hope you guys can understand the questions that I'm answer or the answers, you know? So. It made sense. Cool. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, share, and just care, let your friends, family know what the Kate and JFM are doing. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever time it is out there, and we will see you in our next video. Mm-hmm. Peace. Peace out, chaps.